Yo, what is going on guys? It is Chris and for the past few videos I've been doing bike checks on my two gravel bikes that I have but there was one bike that I didn't look at and plan on doing that today in this video. So today I'm going to be looking at my specialized Helga fat bike. Now this bike I got it used um, for about 800 or so dollars. Um, and as you can probably tell, it didn't come the way that it looks right now, um, considering that it is a fat bike. And if you can, can't tell, I'm actually running uh, 29 by 2.6 inch plus tires. Now, this bike uh, was a women specific fat bike by Specialized. And when I was looking at the sizing of everything, I saw that this was a size large, and when I sort of compared it to the uh, other fat bike that they made, which is the Fat Boy, um, it was similar in uh, length to their size medium. So I thought to myself, I could probably make this work. It might not be great, but for that price, for getting a fat bike that I could basically turn into my um, trail bike uh, I thought that this would be a good idea um, and over the past year or so that I had it I made a bunch of tweaks to it um, to sort of make it better for trail riding um, so I think I'll start with the front um, this handlebar is a bit funky and it is the Surly Maloko and they're still pretty wide. I think they're about uh, 730 millimeters wide, um, but I'm not 100% sure, so I will double check that and have all those specs posted in the link below. Um, but it is flared, sort of. Um, there's a sort of back sweep to it, so it's a lot more comfortable for me when I am just cruising along and that's sort of why I got it um, I didn't want this to be strictly just for mountain bike trails I did get it as a fat bike so I could just ride it around in the winter um, and for me having a not traditional flat bar um, was sort of crucial if you couldn't tell I don't really like flat bars all that much this is why both of my uh, main bikes are drop bar bikes. So this sort of fits in that uh, same criteria of not a complete flat bar, but it still works uh, with the flat bar system. Obviously, I have the Shimano hydraulic brakes with SRAM NX shifting, and I'll get to that in a little bit because I also did upgrade that. Um, and then over here, have the other shifter, and then I also have my lever for my dropper post. So this is another thing that I added on, and I sort of just routed the cable um, through the uh, top or the the top tube, um, and then thankfully my bag was there to sort of cover it up. So as you can see, it works really well and I'm happy with it. There's a little bit of play to it, um, but due to uh, my weight, I'm, that's pretty much just to be expected. Um, last thing I wanted to talk about is the suspension fork. So this is a Manitou Mastodon comp and I am running, I can't really get a good angle of it, but these are 203 millimeter uh, 203 millimeter rotor and what can I say it does its job it helps stop me when I'm going downhill um, and that's pretty important so those brakes really essential when I was upgrading this bike uh, this bike did come with uh, mechanical disc brakes so switching out to hydraulics made a world of a difference when I started taking this on trails.
I touched on it briefly. I got the Moosh Trex frame bag, and I think this is their largest size, and it fits really well in this frame. And I basically just keep my water, my tools, everything, keep it in there. I really don't like having stuff on my back, so I guess out of the way. And the bike is heavy already, so it really doesn't matter if I add a few more pounds to it. In the back, we have the brakes again. This is a 180 millimeter in the back. I don't think I can go up to a 203 in the back. Um, if I could, I probably would, but I think the 180 paired with the 203 in the front should be good enough. Now, <clears throat> we have the Tram NX rear derailleur. 12 speed 11 to 50 and I'm already in like the lower gears of just like and I was just like cruising around the park and that's that's that paired with a wolf tooth 32 tooth front ring so when I have the fat bike wheels on here um, it's definitely gonna feel a little bit more sluggish so Having that topper, topper, sorry, that higher gear range is definitely really helpful. But then that 32 tooth is still nice, so that I can pedal along really uh, well, and I'm not just pushing the 11 in the back. I have some wiggle room there, so it's not too bad. Last thing I wanted to touch on: these wheels. Like I said, this was a fat bike. Um, initially and I sort of just repurposed it to run 29 plus wheels so these are Sunringle Mofut uh, 50 millimeter rims 45 internal width and then I'm running the butcher grid in the front and see if I can get that on camera 29 by 2.6 and then same thing in the rear, except this one is a purgatory grid. Um, I do plan on changing these tires in the future for something that's a little bit lighter, but larger volume. So I'm planning on going on to a 2.8 Terravel Coronado. And as you can see there, that's as much clearance that I have with the 2.6. So I think the 2.8 it's about the highest that I could go and still have decent clearance. I was running 3.0 Maxxis Minions in the back, and it was really, really close. Like, if you can see my finger here, I think that's the clearance that I had. So, not that much left. So, with the 2.6, it's a little bit better. With the 2.8, I'm probably maxed out, but I would be a little bit better on these rims I think and I think they would just roll a little bit better but all in all that's my mountain slash fat bike um, if you can if you can't really tell the trend with all my bikes is sort of have them serving multiple purposes um, trying to reduce my n plus one um, so this is my N plus two, if we're counting my gravel bike, um, if we're counting my gravel bike is the Revolt, which I'll use for road and gravel, and then my tough road, which I basically use for mostly just like winter riding and urban riding, and then I have my fat bike plus my fat plus bike which I'll use for dedicated mountain biking and fat biking when it's super uh snowy and I can't run the tough road so I guess that's sort of my setup for now and hopefully I can discipline myself to stick only with these bikes so that's pretty much it I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did Please leave a like and comment down below if there's anything else that you wanted to know about this bike. And as always, this is Chris, and I'll see you later.